okay now we can see in this how to use that star to delta conversion for this unbalanced Wheatstone's bridge already we have seen how to use that delta star transformation now we can see how to convert that uh, star form or y form into a delta network and use it here for that it's better you redraw it as this way 2 ohm 4 ohm note that all resistors are in ohms i'm not writing ohms here this is 8 this is 6 this is 4 okay goes here now you can see this is t form which is nothing but a y network y network star network you can convert it into a delta form that means it will come here like this imagine so you consider the nodes as say one two three these are resistors these are all nodal points one two three connect one and two include suitable resistance 1 and 3 put suitable resistance, 2 and 3 put suitable resistance, then that becomes a delta network equivalent to this T network. T network means Y star. Now we see how to do this. Please refer to earlier videos on the delta to star conversion or star to delta conversion which we finished already. Now we can see here I just draw the diagram. This is 6 ohm connecting this 1 and 2 you know there is a resistor you have to find out its value now you see this t shape has been converted into this delta shape in that this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 these remain unchanged 6 and 4 these are all nodal points 1 2 3 of course we know how to convert it let's see how to get this one anything you can say call it uh, this one you know you call it as ra this one rb this one rc ra means this multiply these two resistors 16 by the opposite resistance 4 plus 2 plus 8 14 ohm so this will be 14 ohm please refer to the earlier videos otherwise you won't understand this similarly this one no or b product of these two this is also 8 ohm 32 by this opposite resistance plus 4 plus 8 so 28 ohm so rb 28 ohm this is 14 ohm we are converting from star to delta how to get this rc 2 and 4 8 multiply by the opposite 8 plus 2 plus 4 one three seven so this is seven okay now you'll have to simply proceed oh. this 14 and 6 parallel this 28 and 4 ohm parallel the two parallels series then parallel that's it so 14 and 6 parallel effective will be 21 by 5 so 21 by 5 these two these two in parallel that is 28 and 4 28 7 by 2 
all ohms here 7 ohms so these two in series okay so 21 by 5 plus 7 by 2 77 by 10 these two in series so this is 7 ohm this is 77 by 10 ohm now they are in parallel now you see how to find out the effective resistance 77 by 10 no so reciprocal 10 by 77 plus 11 by 3 or effective 11 by 3 this is what we also also got by the previous methods so we have seen three different methods to find out the effective resistance across the unbalanced Wheatstone split first one potential method use it in the exams 12 standard exams the other two for learning purpose may be useful in your higher classes or you can use these methods to cross check so we applied potential method we converted delta to star verified also we converted star to delta and verified in all the three cases you got the same effective resistance 11 by 3 ohm okay see you